PMR Africa is a company based in Johannesburg with the aim of uplifting social and economic standards in Africa. Every year, the company contacts surveys in African countries and awards are given to companies who deserve recognition in their field. Today, PMR Africa awarded corporate companies, health and education institutions, legal and municipalities with the Golden Arrow Awards in celebration of their excellence. They were rated based on their contribution to the economic development and growth of the country, management and corporate governance. Those who scooped five awards were the Vendo Country Club and Resort, Standard Bank Namibia, First National Bank of Namibia and Bank Ventuk. Others received between one and four awards. In his keynote address, the director of the Polytechnic of Namibia said, such awards were the start of the beginning to encourage innovation and excellence, but still feels that Namibia's innovation capacity is not fully cultivated, calling for a national innovation policy. It's not that there's no, no work being done in Namibia. It's not that there's no effort in Namibia um, to, tra to take us to 2030. As you know, National Planning Commission um, is promoting Vision 2030 like there's no tomorrow. It's a good thing, but where is the policy? Do you have a blueprint in your cupboard? And every business person should be living by that Bible called innovation policy. Dr. Chamachivikwa is of the opinion that if all comes on board, this will help to close the loop on the national innovation process. I therefore urge Namibian society to explore new ways of innovation. Let us apply the traditional triple helix formation of innovation which requires strong collaboration between government, business, and universities. Civic society, too, um, is a role player in innovation. So we can speak about a quadruple helix, four in one. Experts say innovation in developing countries should not be defined just in terms of shifting global frontier technology, but in terms of what is new to the country, the sector, or the firm. Unfortunately, in most developing countries, resources and technological absorptive capacity are limited.